Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. That big guy, bottom left, is myself, Luke, your host, who just wants to make you wealthy. I've had a few people ask, what is the best way to enter a dividend in a share site? I'm going to make a real quick video tutorial on how I do this. If this helps you out, please return the favor and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button for more videos on building wealth through the hustles of business and investing. If you don't have a share site subscription yet, hit my link in the description below to get the said discount. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now it is best practice to find your payment advice because that's got all the information on it. And there's a couple of options that I know of. One, the company share register will send you an email link that you can follow for a single holding. You enter your postcode, click the PDF, and voila, you have it. Or two, log into the respective share registry and look for dividend payment history. So in this case, I'm using FMG as an example, and at time of recording, the respective share registry was Link Market Services. Now let's check out what information we need from that payment advice. So basically the information you need from the payment advice is the paid date, the ex-dividend date, which is one day before the record date, the franked amount, the tax file number withholding tax. Now this one is important. If you have a value in there, make sure you jump into share registry and update your tax file number. I'll do another video on this at a later stage. Your franking credits and your unfranked amount. So as you probably know, this is a share site platform. So we're doing FMG as an example. So what we do is we scroll down, we click FMG and you'll see that it has a notification here that we need to update something. So that gives us a clue. It will load up this screen. We just come down to recent income and we hit edit. Now this will bring up this screen. Now all we need is our payment advice. Now that our payment advice is up, we grab the paid on date from here and enter here. The X date from here, which is one day before the record date and enter here. We grab the franked amount from here, enter here. We grab the tax file number withholding tax from here. We enter here, the franking credits from here, enter here, the unfranked amount from here, enter here. Now that is basically it guys. Once you enter that information, you scroll down, hit save and confirm payout, and Bob's your uncle. The dividend is now in share site, and you can go and mow the lawns or whatever else you want to do in your spare time. If you haven't already, remember to like, subscribe, and even share the video if you're feeling frisky. Comment down below on any other tutorials you would like to see, and I'll see you next time. Ciao, Bella.